Hi, it's David Rosen, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, picking your listing agent. More millionaires are made through real estate through any other means. My name is David Rosen, and I'm one of the top 100 real estate brokers in New York City. This is my video blog. A listing agent is the person you hire to sell the home. They're the seller's agent. I've sold homes that no one else could sell. Uh, I was the second broker on many of my properties, and I'll provide those statistics to you when you reach out to me. I'm going to talk to you today about five things I think are important when you consider picking a listing agent. Number one, their reviews and their references. If you hire me, or you think about hiring me, I'll say, please call these other people who hired me, and they'll tell you about their experience. Also, you can see online my five-star reviews, almost 100 already. Number two, really weigh the pros and cons of what we call the local expert. Many buildings have someone who lives in the building who's made themselves a small fortune the day they moved in. They uh, sold their neighbor's place, they sold the other neighbor's place, but there's pros and cons of that person. Typically speaking, that neighborhood expert or local expert um, isn't hip to population movements. And what I mean by that is very often people downtown go uptown. So even if that uptown building has never gotten a certain record price, we know that by downtown standards, that price is cheap. The neighborhood or local expert often will limit your ceiling. They'll have a, a hyper expertise over their own limitations. They'll be sensitive to their reputation and they'll be less uh, bold about going for a record price. I'm not. I've set many record prices. Number three, data and sales statistics. I provide all the sellers I work with with my listing stats. Now, I haven't sold every single property ever for full price, but I've sold quite a few for full price and I've sold quite a few for over the asking price. In fact, uh, my median sales price is 100% of the last asking price and my median days on market is 35.5. Um, as of right now, maybe in the future that'll go up or down. I hope it stays the same. Um, and the way I've been successful is by, you know, having a huge toolkit that I employ when I sell homes. Number four, game plan, strategy. With 90% of real estate agents not being in the business for more than five years and me being in the business for now going on 14, I have incredible amounts of strategies. Not just one strategy, I know all the strategies, like a great you know, football or basketball coach. We've got a technique for every single situation. And we've got not only an idea of what to do, but we have the power team in place to get it done. Each property needs a game plan. And when we meet, we'll talk about the game plan for your property. Last but not least, personality. I'd be lying if when I say I'm one of the top 100 brokers in New York City, there weren't 99 other brokers who are also top brokers. They're all good. They all have the sales statistics. They all have the game plan. In fact, I learned from some of them. Some of them have been doing it longer than me. Uh, you have to like who you work with. They have to like what they're doing. Liking what you do will translate because in a win-win situation, the buyer, the seller, the lender, the lawyer, even the pets have a good experience. And that's what I hope for you when we get you full price in 35 days and you love the choice you made in picking the right listing agent. Thank you. If you have any questions about picking a listing agent, please call me or you can email me or message me on social media. I can't wait to talk to you. Thanks.